I am a journalist. I came originally from Venezuela. I was born and raised there, and I went to journalism school in Caracas. I started working in this small Spanish language newspaper. That was 1986. Now, what, what else was going on in 1986? Um, the amnesty law. The Democrats and Republicans were able to come together to pass this law. Now we've, you know, uh, today this sounds like a myth. This uh, opinion about immigration among the American public changes depending on the moment. And it also uh, depends on who you ask, at, you know, what part of the country today, the, most of the American public see immigration as positive and they uh, support immigration reform that includes a legalization program. Politics and politicians are usually out of step this is an issue that is very easy to, to use uh, politically and electorally. It's much easier to say I'm going to build a wall than ex to explain how you're going to create jobs. This is a thing that we've been dealing with for 200 years. Politicians find it very easy to rile up people and uh, point to a certain group and say they're to blame instead of themselves, right? Instead of themselves because they didn't handle the economy or they didn't have a solution for the problem. And in doing that, they really ignore the real issues of immigration. There's a real discussion about what's a good immigration policy and what's not a good immigration policy, but that gets lost. Politicians that are today in Congress serving in the House of Representatives that started as small town majors in like really tiny cities in somewhere in rural the United States. And they started getting famous in the national media by using the immigration issue. If we follow the progression of, for example, immigration laws that were passed at the local level in the, pa in the past few years, uh, the state like Arizona law, all these laws, they happened in places where demographic change happened really fast. So it was not just technically economics and these people are taking away my jobs, is these people are coming into my, you know, white environment and changing it. They're changing the culture. So there's a, there's a number of reasons why putting all the money on enforcement and not on integration and reform is a bad thing. Because it really doesn't solve the issue. If it, if it solved the issue, we, we would have seen immigration, illegal immigration stop, and it hasn't. If Hillary Clinton is elected, then she will have a choice of following up on her um, promises. If the Senate does not change to a Democratic oh, yeah. majority, no, then it's oh, done. Yeah. You know, we're going to have the world's historically long, empty Supreme Court. Yes. See. And then, of course, you know, even if she becomes president, as you said, you know, the Congress can, can do to her the same thing that they did to Barack Obama or worse. If you look at Latinas today, um, they put immigration reform at the top of Latinas' agenda. The only way we can look forward is just participating and we'll get there at some point.